What would it look like if a computer designed a chair and would it be comfortable? Well, now we can find out because it exists. So we're talking about the elbow chair with no W, elbow. elbow. Uh, yeah, that's how I pronounce everything from Ikea, though this is not from Ikea. Uh, this comes from uh, two designers of Autodesk, and they decided to make an algorithm that would work with parameters input by humans in order to generate a chair that would be uh, ergonomic, would hold enough weight for whatever individual, and would be able to maybe save on materials, and what they came up with is the elbow. So that's, that's, you know, I actually imagined it would look crazier. No, it's a completely normal looking it's, chair. It's, it's not really one for armrests, but I guess it doesn't it have to be. It looks a little bit like butterfly wings on the chair. Ooh, yeah, like my I earrings like a little Gossamer. bit. Gossamer, nice wood grain. It's nice. Uh, they did have to trick the algorithm though, because when they were inputting different materials, it's hard to tell uh, how much, it's hard to account for wood, because it can vary so much. So they uh, tricked it by saying vinyl, which is apparently a dead ringer for walnut. And that's what the chair ended up being. Here's Stupid my computers. We made it out of wood anyway. <laughs> for uh, reference. <laughs> we do what we want. So it's co-designed between, well, humans did design the algorithm and they did put in all of the different uh, variables, you know, and this could hold 300 pounds and it seats 18 inches off the floor. They did say that they wanted uh, armrests to clear a human being's body. Those armrests are kind of small though. I would argue that's part of the back, like sure. these chairs. Right, well, I mean, no Where does the, is this the arm? But what about this part? Chairs, man. How do they work? How do they work? Nobody knows, they're like magnets. So, so I love this idea <laughs> and I especially love it for engineering. Um, it reminds me of a story that I think you and I covered on Nerd Alert quite a while ago about the um, the computer that taught uh, you know uh, bipedal models how to walk mm -hmm. through optimization and different generations, and you see generation one and then ten and then three hundred and then a thousand. But it's like so the computer is learning what makes a good chair and where you can shave off weight and where you can build up structure mm -hmm. to make it more supportive. It's it's like evolution, but for chairs and really fast. Well, this chair actually did end up with 18% less material being used to create it than the original um, hybrid model the, de the designer started with, and it shows fewer signs of stress in its joints. So that's, it's, I mean, in, in terms of conservation, uh, that's good. Sure, I, I also like the idea of computers making stuff and designing stuff. It doesn't always go over well though. I mean, the, compu the algorithm did design a thousand things and this is what the people chose from in the end of you know what possible outcomes. I would like to see the reject models and see well, how weird they look. It, it was like a design input stage. So it would design a thousand things and the, then the humans would pick one and say, hey, I like that, explore that idea more. And it would make another thousand of those. Show and, me more. Yeah, more. More yes. like this. Enhance, yes, more chairs, thousands of chairs. So, I mean, the algorithm was good for that, and that's that's cool. It's a collaboration between humans and machines. Yeah. It, yeah I'm, I'm reminded of Westworld, but only because I'm watching Westworld and I'm obsessed with it. But uh, um, Anthony mm -hmm. Hopkins' character is the designer of these cyborgs. I'll try to stay out of spoiler territory. But he talks about the evolution of humans and mistakes, mm -hmm. and that all evolution is just a, the only tool we have to work with is mistakes. And yeah. And, and so this is like mutation. rapid, rapid fire um, trial and error as far as evolution goes, but evolution of chairs. So rapid evolution. Yes. Okay. And I will. I hope designers aren't out of work from this. I don't think they are anytime soon, though. Uh, though I do like that chair. Can I do like it. We're all out of work to robots soon enough. No, they so. can't do what I do. It's special. <laughs> <laughs> Audience. Do you feel fear robots taking your gerbs? Please let us know below in the comments and please like and subscribe for more.